Mack engines have always had a personality all their own. The engines are renowned for their low-end grunt and massive pulling power at low RPM. In the second of our three-part test drive series, I explore the electronic wizardry Mack employs in their new Super Econodyne powertrain package to make the most of the traditional Mack power profile. I'm freelance trucking journalist Jim Park, and we're somewhere on the 401 between Milton and Woodstock, Ontario. I'm joined by Dave McKenna, Mack's director of powertrain sales, for a working tour of this remarkable bit of technology. Mack engines have always pulled their best and most efficiently at low engine RPM, even in the days of the old mechanically controlled engines. While the North American trucking industry has been slow to adopt the low RPM powertrains with broad, low torque curves, this approach has been common in Europe for many years and it makes Mack somewhat of a standout in North America. Mack offers three power profiles in its MP series engines. The Econodyne, Maxi Cruise, and Maxidyne each has a different torque and horsepower profile that's best suited to a particular application. The Super Econodyne package is tailored to carriers operating on interstate highways with 80,000 pound gross combination weight ratings. It offers an exceptionally low engine RPM of 1160 at a vehicle cruise speed of 65 miles per hour. Mack claims that can cut fuel consumption by about 2%. And it delivers gobs of torque, up to 1,760 pound feet, to keep the truck in top gear under most highway conditions. Remarkably, the engine will deliver up to 1,450 pound feet of torque all the way down to 9 900 RPM. That's just 300 RPM above idle speed. Dave McKenna describes how the electronics make the difference. The big thing is when we, we broaden the torque plateau, um, you know, you've got like, it's like 1,450 pound foot of torque at 900 RPM. We've, we've made a lot of changes to the engine data file, so it's not just that, uh, you know, we're, we're taking an existing engine and running it at a, at a very low RPM. We change the fuel mapping strategy and uh, you know, we provide a, you know, a high torque file at, at very, very low uh, speeds, so it, it tends to work very well. Super Econodyne isn't just a new marketing term. Mack hasn't simply wrapped an existing engine with new branding and put it back on the market. But make no mistake, the MP8 445 SE engine rated at 445 horsepower and 1,760 pound-feet of torque is the same reliable engine found in most of Mack's on-highway trucks. Max engineers have rewritten the computer code for the Super Econodyne version, giving it a low speed operating profile with more torque at a lower and broader RPM range. Here's Dave again describing the difference between the Econodyne profile and the Super Econodyne. Now, we also have one that's intended for the highway, and uh, it's more of a conventional torque rise, about, you know, 28, 29 percent. And, you know, that's your, your standard Econodyne where the you know, peak torque occurs, you know, at about 1,200 RPM. And, uh, you know, your peak horsepower occurs, you know, between 1,500, you know, 1,800 RPM. The idea for that is once you get it up to speed, like what we are right now, it's, 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 you don't need a whole lot of torque to do this, and you just need a little bit of horsepower. But if we could take the Econodyne a step further and come up with a like a low speed Econodyne and what we do do then is is clip two or three hundred RPM out of your cruise speed, give you almost as much horsepower, but give you an extra three hundred pound foot of torque at eleven hundred, that's what we've done. You know, we're we're pulling this parachute here at uh, you know sixty five mile an hour and not breaking a sweat. So there you have it. Super Econodyne isn't just a clever marketing term, it's a new concept in engine power mapping. There's still more to explore on this truck, so if you haven't already, please join me behind the wheel for parts one and three of this three-part look at Mac's latest release. For today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive series, I'm freelance trucking journalist Jim Park. Drive safe and keep your revs down.